Our top story, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti delivered his State of the City address last night, where he touted the progress of the bridge housing program. Real progress. The last weekend of Coachella starts today. And by the way, if you're heading out to the desert, there is an art installation you might want to check out in between the music acts. As Sarah Pila tells us, Spectra allows you to see the festival like never before. Getting to view such ahead on the evening beat, the Los Angeles Unified School District inches closer to a strike. Now you see it, now you don't, but it's coming back. We're talking about that rain, and we continue to dive into another crisis here in Southern California homelessness. Well, again, we're just three days away from this teacher's strike. The union and district negotiated all day. They're going to do it again on Wednesday morning, as they just announced moments ago. Now, as students return to school from winter break, the big question is what teachers will be in the classroom on Thursday? Continuing with our sports beat, well, the boys are coming home. It is game day for the Clippers. After a historic 31-point comeback against the Warriors on Monday, the playoff series is all tied up at one game apiece with the next two games right here at the Staples Center. Nikki Kay has a behind-the-scenes look at how the venue prepares for such an exciting event. A few years ago, two women being treated for breast cancer met at their doctor's office in Orange County. They became quick friends, launching a social impact movement to ensure that no one faces cancer alone. Chemo Buddies for Life uses social media to make a difference for patients and survivors all across the country. Mary Parks explains in this week's California Spirit. In our health beat this Thursday, LA County and the state are partnering up in an effort to lower prescription drug prices. It's part of an effort, an overall plan, to eventually create a statewide single purchaser system. Aria Wessler spoke with one senior about his experience in getting the medication that he needs. Local education. Chris. Gotcha. Okay, well, that little guy in the back there, he seems like he wants to go to school right now. When does he know that his teachers are going to be there, too? <laughs> As you know, it is Earth Month, and here on the Afternoon Beat, we have been taking a look at issues in our oceans that are harming the ecosystem and may only get worse if we don't take action immediately. So maybe you've heard about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's a huge vortex of waste accumulating in the ocean. One Long Beach vessel actually helped discover it. Well, Parker Collins has more from the researchers who are monitoring what they call microplastics. Chris is on his way next door to talk with our friends at SNLA and help get you ready for the next few games. Okay, there's no wandering. I have a destination. SNLA Studios and look at Oh, look at this. Ned Coletti, how you doing, my friend? Hey, what's happening? Analyst, my friend, I'm what's doing happened? well. I'm doing well. So tell me what, what's going on. Now, we just said, I, I thought there was going to be more brooms here to celebrate that big sweep we had. With well, them. we're on to another series. That was oh. yesterday. No, no, no. I want to talk about that. That was amazing. It was Especially, great. I, I figured, you know what? We're going to give, give them one game because we're down 5-1. You know, second inning. It's, it, all right, so we give them one. What happened? You know what? They don't give them any. They don't give them they anything. Give them any. And during our official tax month of April, our political team on Inside the Issues took a plunge into tax prep. That sounds like a lot of fun. Here are some tips on how to be proactive when it comes to filing. I want to do some proactive tax. Ama Luna. Do you know what that means? No. Come on. Yes. Uh, you're my teacher. Ama Luna. This translates to Ama Love. Uh, Luna. Luna. Oh, Luna is the moon. Bingo! Uh, yes. Love of the moon. Chris, how about a show that combines the fourth of the acrobatics? Okay. Dance, yeah. music, yeah. and a touch of Shakespeare, Mozart, and of course, a pinch of Greek mythology. Pinch. That actually sounds like an intellectual adventure to me. A rare moment caught on camera. That is a bear cub with snowboarders at a North Star California ski resort. They fed and interacted with the cub, which is exactly what you're not supposed to do Officials believe the cub's mother died and the little one just didn't know any better. But once again, officials still warn you not to approach bears, even cute little cubs. That's going to do it for this edition of the Afternoon Beat. I am Chris Leary. I'm going to leave you with a look out at El Porto in Manhattan Beach, courtesy of Surfline.com. One more thing I wanted to say I forget. Oh, I remember. Have yourself a great day.